now live from our New York studios is John Simon, film critic for the National Review and drama critic for New York Magazine. From our Chicago bureau, Gene Siskel, film critic for the Chicago Tribune and co-host of the syndicated television series At the Movies. And Roger Ebert, co-host of At the Movies and film critic for the Chicago Sun-Times. Mr. Simon, you described The Empire Strikes Back, the second in this trilogy, as malodorous awful, and I understand you're also well able to keep your enthusiasm in check for the third in the trilogy. Why so unkind? Well, I think um, the uh, raves for the early Star Wars have been so violent and so uh, extravagant that I feel one cannot afford to mince one's words if one dislikes these things. You certainly did not do that. Uh, but, but why do you feel they are so bad? I feel they're so bad because they're completely dehumanizing. I th obviously, let's face it, they are for children or for childish adults. They're not for adult mentalities, uh, which unfortunately uh, <coughs> means that they're not for a lot of my fellow critics who also lack adult mentalities. But anyway, um, they are for children, and they're brutalizing children, they're stultifying children, they're making children now uh, dumber than they need to be. Uh, a great work for children, like Huck Finn, for example, tells a child something about reality, about people, about life, about growing up. These films try to keep children stupid children forever, and that, I think, is wrong. Gene Siskel, Roger Ebert, if you would like to remove the dagger from between your ribs and strike back, have at it. I totally disagree with Mr. Simon. I don't know uh, what he did as a child, but I spent a lot of my Saturday matinees watching science fiction movies and serials and having a great time of being stimulated and having my imagination stimulated and having uh, all sorts of visions take place in my mind that helped me to become an adult and to still stay young at heart. And I would say not that I'm childlike, but that he is old at heart. Yeah, when I, uh, I think that Mr. Simon ought to do what I did over the weekend. I went to a regular movie theater in a shopping center in Michigan City, Indiana, and I sat amid all the kids. You, there was one tall head and a lot of small heads. Were they dumber than they needed to be? No, they weren't dumber, to quote that in interesting phrase. <laughs> uh, they uh, were ecstatic. They were enjoying it, and they were rooting. They were asking each other who's who. They were getting all involved. They were rooting for the right guys and booing the bad guys. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I feel badly, honestly, I feel badly that this uh, other critic, John Simon, didn't have a good time at these pictures. That's too bad for him. All right, while it would probably be more fun to have you sling mud at one another, all three of you, let's talk about the, let's talk about the movie nevertheless. Mm -hmm. Is it a great film? I mean, it's, it's clearly great technology, and it does uh, wonderful things with special effects, but in terms of the normal standards by which we judge movies, is this a